So how's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel and welcome to another Tears of the Kingdom video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different because I want to go over some of the absolutely crazy ideas that some of you guys have had in the community. So today we're going to be checking out the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom subreddit. Some of you all have made just the craziest stuff. I'm lucky if I can stick two logs together onto a cart and make just a basic wagon. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and take a look at some of the crazy things that you guys have come up with. So I have, I built a wing launcher. Okay, so... It's got a glider on the back of a cart. Okay, so let's like pause it here. See, so he's got four wheels on just a block of wood, pretty basic. He's got a steering wheel up here in the front. Two blocks of wood to hold the glider in place here. And then it looks like he's got... A small plank of wood here, a small plank of wood here, and then in the middle he's got a big, like a big board to hold it in place. And then he's got some fans and a rocket to propel it. Oh, okay, that, that's pretty smart. And it just launches him into the sky and then he can just steer wherever he wants to go. That is a really, really good idea. And I'm, I'm totally going to steal that one. <laughs> that is so cool. That, yeah, that... That's brilliant. So I like that one. Alright, so it looks like he's got some sort of flying contraption. Oh, it's like a... It's like a bomber. Holy crap, that is so smart. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he's got... He's got fans. Looks like four fans attached to a steering column. Uh, then he's got some cannons attached to I'm not sure what this is I don't have I don't have this piece unlocked yet so I'm gonna have to figure out what that is because this looks pretty cool and he's got so many batteries see the problem is like I can't even experience most of this stuff because I don't have the battery capacity so I'm gonna have to go out and upgrade my batteries before I can even think about building something like this. Like, if I built this, it would be a complete waste of time because I'd only get to fly it around for, like, two seconds. But that's that's definitely a super cool idea. Uh, this one, this is Peak Transversal. Quick and simple to build. Oh, it's like a green goblin glider. Yeah, you just have a steering column in the middle and two fans on the left and the right, and that's it. Wow, that is pretty simple to build. Okay, why couldn't I think of that? <laughs> Anytime I try to build a flying contraption, I just stick fans onto a glider, and it, it doesn't work, obviously. Something so simple. That is a great idea. Okay. <laughs> now, now, I'm going to have another video here in the future where I'm going to go over like the best build guides and show you guys how to build them and stuff. So if there's anything super cool in this video, or if you guys have any cool ideas of your own, let me know down in the comment section, and I'll build all the coolest ideas and give you all a tutorial on like how to do that. Launched him out into the ocean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that gets on a boat. <laughs> That's not really a good contraption, but it's funny. So now we have this post. I thought I did a good build until I came to this page. Yeah, I know that feeling. Okay, so we're taking a glider and we're putting a steering column on it, putting some fans on it. Uh, got some wheels, putting wheels onto the back. That's pretty smart. I didn't think of that. Okay. So it's a car glider. <laughs> the people in the community make me feel so stupid when I play this game. <laughs> the amount of times that I've screwed around with the glider and... I've just sucked with this glider. Like, I hate this glider. This glider is my worst enemy. I can never get it to work the right way. It's just never dawned on me to put 
wheels on a glider so it can drive around as a car and can also lift up off of the ground and just fly around whenever you need it to. <laughs> I, I just feel like an idiot when I play this game. Like anytime I discover something cool or discover something new, I figure out that someone else has done it just way better and way easier. But now we have the Battle of Hyrule has changed. Oh my god. Is this like a tank? It's shooting cannonballs. So. <laughs> okay. So he's got. Looks like multiple wooden planks at the bottom. He's got multiple wooden, big wooden planks on the left and the right. A couple on the top. I don't know what this contraption is up top here. This is probably what's holding the cannons. He's got all kinds of wheels on the left and the right. Well, this thing takes a lot of resources to build. It looks like the issue, though, is you can't really aim it very well. But this thing is wrecking this boss on the bridge. <laughs> throws a little rock at you <laughs> as if that does anything. I fought this same exact creature on foot. Like, underneath of him. Running underneath of his legs and smacking him with my spear. Like, over and over and over again. And I would shoot him in the eye and then run away and then run back underneath of him and smack him. And this guy just shows up with a, a mini tank. What the hell? Oh, this one's just called Doohickey. Uh, that's a good title. I mean, it's a it's a doohickey, all right. So he's just got some looks like a giant door or something, just some big wooden plank. Or I wonder if I wonder if he made this because it looks like a bunch of wooden pillars stuck together with wooden support beams across the top. But it also looks like a pre-made structure. And then he just has big monster truck tires on top of it. I mean, it gets the job done. Oh, it works on the ground, too. <laughs> it's just it's such a weird contraption. This would definitely make me motion sick, and I, I wouldn't want to drive this around personally. I feel like this would get pretty old. Um, but, I mean, hey, it gets the job done, I guess. Uh, so now we have a death cage. Uh, okay, wait, how did he get him in that, is what I want to know. So we have some wooden planks all put together. Uh, oh, he's got, oh! Okay. I mean, that seems like a lot of effort, just to kill one little creature. But he built a cage around him. Build it full of the uh, flamethrowers and one of those uh, time bombs. And I mean, that's that's really cool. I just don't. I feel like it would take a long time and a lot of effort to just capture the creature. <laughs> but the, just the fact that you can do this is so cool to me. It's like the developers of this game just let you run wild. They took all the crazy ideas that people came up with in Breath of the Wild and just ran with them all. And they just let players come up with the weirdest stuff in this game. Like the, the fusion ability that they came up with for this game is such a good idea. It's so good for puzzles. It's good for combat. It, it's just a fun mechanic to do. And I'm so glad that they added that to this game because it adds so much replayability. You could play this game a hundred times and have different builds, experience new things, find new combinations that you didn't previously find like this game. I I'm blown away by this game. The amount of stuff that is in this video game. I don't think I've ever experienced a video game with this much detail and just the thought that went into this game is just so unbelievably insane to me. And this is very quickly becoming one of my favorite video games of all time. I've only put in maybe like 
30 hours into the story because I've been busy making videos. But every single moment that I've had in this game, I've loved the crap out of it. It's just there's, there's just so much you can do and there's so much creativity. It's like Zelda meets Minecraft in a weird way. It's like they award you for your creativity and it's just so much fun. I, I love this game. It, it's such a great game. Uh, so we have one day in and this game has already peaked. Uh, this video doesn't have any sound. Okay, so he, he built like a little mini robot. <laughs> that is so cool. It's not really practical. There's not really any point to doing this other than just to be goofy. Um, okay, so he's got the like weeble wobble thingies. I forget what these are called, but he attached wheels to them so that when he hits it, it stands up, which is a, a great idea. The fact that like people think of these things, I sit too close to the game. I, I need to take a step back and just analyze all the different parts and think of different combinations that you can come up with because this stuff is just crazy to me. I would never think to do this. So he has the Weeble Wobble thingies at the bottom, wheels attached to it so it can drive. He's got a log and another log to make legs. He's got a fan in its crotch to, you know, obviously propel it forward. A big plank. Uh, two planks up at the top for his shoulders. Okay, so two planks up at the top for the shoulders and then a plank and a plank for his arms. But then how did he make his head? Head looks. So he attached something to the mouth, something small just to give it a mouth. Probably like, I don't know, a stick or something. And then it looks like he has two two wheels for eyeballs. I thought they were fans, but that would blow him backwards. So he's got two wheels for eyeballs you know th that <laughs> that's pretty cool i i feel like someone's going to come up with a, just a robot that just fights for you on its own i'm sure you could rig this thing to have laser beams and cannons to just auto fire for you so this has ten thousand upvotes this is getting ridiculous okay so he also has a robot Oh, so you mount it by ascending through the bottom of it. That's smart. Uh, okay, so it walks and it shoots. This is basically what I'm saying. This is a just, this is a mech. You just made a mech suit. Oh. He's driving around a freaking mech suit that is just auto aiming at enemies and the little laser beams, the targeting system will shoot the cannonballs at whatever enemy it locks onto. That is such a good idea. Yet this is another thing that I couldn't even dream of experiencing because I only have like one battery. <laughs> so I'm going to need to go farming for a lot of batteries. But oh my god, that is so cool. And how, like, the enemies can't stop this. There's no way the enemies can stop that. Especially if you have the uh, little weeble wobble thingies at the bottom for your feet, which it looks like he does, because at the very end here, it uh, looks like he gets knocked over. Yeah, he gets knocked over, but he's got, like, the little weeble wobble thingies on his feet, so he just goes right back up. How does the enemy stop that? They They can't. I don't think the enemies in this game are smart enough to know how to deal with these kind of contraptions. So you can do a lot of the combat in this game just using these contraptions. You don't even have to use your weapons. It's like no wonder they kept the weapon durability. There's so many new options in this game that you can do when it comes to like fusing your weapons or creating these vehicles that fight for you. It's like who cares if your weapon breaks? There's so many other options you can have for combat now. It's just insane. How my nine-year-old kid made it across the broken rail. Okay, so this... Oh! So this, I know where this is. This is at the uh, the beginning of the game, up at the uh, Sky Island or whatever it's called. And he just made a train? Basically, it's just a train car. Took all the, the carts, put them together, activates the fans... 
and then goes straight across the broken rail. Wow. <laughs> that is such a good idea. Now, that's that's way more work than what needed to be done because there's like a hook on the ground over here and I just attached the hook to the uh, to the one rail that wasn't broken and then just activated the fan and then it blew me across the railing. But this is a brilliant idea. Especially if a nine-year-old really did come up with this, that's really smart. I didn't even know there was that many minecarts in this area to even come up with something like that. But who thinks to build a train? <laughs> that's such a cool and unique idea. It's, it's so brilliant. And with that, that is the end of today's video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any future Zelda Tears of the Kingdom videos. And that is going to do it for me, everyone. And I will talk to you all in the next video.